in the church. You know, pastor? You know, pastor? Bring the pastor. That true pastor. Too many pastor Christians in the church. Too many little man in the church. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Too many little minds in the church. When the hope has come, you acknowledge the hope. Number two, you act on the hope. Can you say me amen? I'm a God. It's a God of action. He told Moses, 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 Ezra chapter 3, for I have seen the suffering of my people. That cry has reached my ears. So the Bible says, then God appeared to Moses in the fire. Because he is a consuming fire. The book that burned was not consumed. So the Bible says, God was trying to draw Moses' attention. He drew near. He drew near. And he got there. When he got there, then God said, Moses, Moses, take off your shoes or take off your sandals for you are standing on the holy ground. Moses, now that you have come, I am the I am. I am sending you. If you look at verse 10, he said, I'm sending you now. He's a God of action. He's a God of action. He's not a passive God. So when you take action, then you meet God. Let me let you know one thing real quick. The best that can happen in your life is not to come to church. The best that can happen in your life is not to be a member of the church. The best that can happen in your life is not a job you got. The best that can happen in your life is not a business you got. The best thing that happened to you in ever in your life and will happen to you is when you are in the center of God's will. Can you say me amen? Your money will pass away. Your education will pass away. Your pursuit will pass away. Your building will pass away. But the word of God in your life will never pass away. Can you say me amen? Hallelujah, son.